And so if I am that, I'm also the water baptism. I'm also the baptism of fire, of Holy Spirit fire. So how do we engage with our minds being giving our body, soul, and spirit, our entire body memory permission to step out of that world it's been stuck in, that world of separation, and step into the reality of resurrection realities that I am the second coming of Christ, that I am the manifestation of Christ in the earth, that that no eye has seen, no ear has hear, heard, nor has it entered into the heart of the humanity that's still stuck in that world, in that different place of separation. Because y'all, that doesn't apply to you and I. That we are not stuck. We have we have decided we we've talked about it so many times. The Thelma and Louise situation. <laughs> we are we've gone to the end of the road, and now we've already gone beyond it. Right. But it's interesting because um, the other day I was reading, and I just happened to 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 scroll up to verse five, and. <clears throat> There's something that that the author of the Mirror Bible writes, and he quotes Luke 3, 3. And I love this. He says, it's quoted to say, he emerged from the wilderness. He's talking about Yeshua. He emerged from the wilderness and traveled throughout the entire region. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not Yeshua, uh, John the Baptist. Traveled throughout the region of the Jordan, publicly announcing a baptism of reformation an engaging of a radical mind shift celebrating mankind's redeemed identity and innocence. A radical mind shift celebrating man's re mankind's redeemed identity and innocence. You know, sister and I were talking the other day, yesterday, um, she made a comment, uh, and I'm going to ask her to share this in just a second. She made a comment about what father was showing her regarding what I shared about your body is the water baptism. And she, and she, she shared it Saturday. Well, sister, you wanted to share it? Sure, sure, sure. So when I was talking uh, to father this week about body, body being the water baptism um i was talking you know the first thing that i thought of was baptism is changing you know when we're baptized we come out of the water we're changed our we you know we feel changed our body and that's 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 part of baptism the physical baptism thing and i mean and people have different testimonies of how they're changed and you know my son came out of the water and said he was healed and you know, just different things about our bodies changing. But then father started talking to me this week to look at it differently and not at myself, but how does me being, my body being water baptism change humanity, change the world outside of myself, change the, the atmosphere that I'm in. And, and um, so we started talking about that. And of course I was in a situation in a waiting room at a hospital um, a couple days ago, and um, I was sitting there and not talking to Father about it, um, about that. And a lot of things were happening, a little bit frustrating for me, um, um, just from a place of my heart was reaching out to people in that room, one of which was a lady who was in a severe pain, severe pain. And she sat there for probably 30 minutes not being helped, and she was crying out. And I was like, Father, how can I help her? And so, of course, I did all the things. Like I sat there in the IM and I expanded myself out and just expanded healing for for her over her. I didn't I didn't know if I should go touch her or you know I didn't. I was just asking Father about it and really didn't get a a feeling either way. Um, but I was just like Father, how do I change that? 
Well, then in my frustration, a lot of things happened. I left and I was just texting sister, texting my husband. You know, that is such a frustrating thing. Well, then as I was waiting for my husband to pick me up, um, I started talking to father about it. And he was like, that, how that is your body is water baptism. In that moment, you were the flowing water of baptism outside of yourself, not having to do anything like physical or anything like that, but you are the changing water of water baptism in that moment for her, for those in that waiting, you know, that waiting room, even in my frustration, even in my heart reaching out in my discouragement that people were in pain and not being heard and seen, you know, my heart was just so broken for them. And even in those times where I'm like, you know, I, you know, I could even say I'm not being, you know, I'm not in a spiritual place because I'm frustrated and I'm sad, you know, even in those places, I, because I'm in that place, because I'm in that location, I walk around and am the water baptism in that moment of water, healing, moving, changing, shifting lives in that moment. So that's, that's what it was about. So 